Binge Watchers where we talk about the stories and characters we love in the shows they live in. My name is Ron and let's talk about season one of the new Netflix original, A Series of Unfortunate Events. A Series of Unfortunate Events is another adaptation of the series of books by the same name and it tells the story of the Baudelaire orphans. The children lose their parents in a fire and then have to go live with their distant relative Count Olaf, who's evil and is only after the Baudelaire fortune. The orphans, Violet, Klaus, and baby Sonny, have to evade and fight Olaf and his schemes to get their money. Alright, we know what the show's about. I'm probably gonna get some shit for this one because this show has been received super well all around. People are loving it. Great reviews everywhere. My thoughts about it? It was... Fine, I guess? This is a very stylized show, so the tone and the looks of the show are a fundamental part of the story. The presentation here is key. And this show does look very cool. It embraces the fact that the sets and costumes and all the visuals are exaggerated and the show has a lot of fun with it. The visual style of the show I thought was great. It was a lot of fun. The Baudelaire kids were okay. They're pretty bland characters, so the performances pretty much match up with that. I didn't find myself very interested in them at any point, and Neil Patrick Harris's Count Olaf was Neil Patrick Harris in funny costumes, kind of goofing around. And it was fun, it was okay. I think Neil Patrick Harris is awesome, and I was really looking forward to seeing him in this role. But I don't know, something just didn't click for me. I never felt like I was watching a character. I felt like I was watching... Neil Patrick Harris, who looks and sounds like Neil Patrick Harris, kind of just, you know, goof around. Which was entertaining, for a bit. I feel, <laughs> I feel like such an asshole, I hope you, you get what I mean. The show clearly doesn't take itself too seriously. It has a lot of fun with the story, and there's some pretty solid comedy in there. But the pacing was way too slow, in my opinion. It felt like there simply wasn't enough story to last eight episodes. And there was never anything that made me feel like this show is more than something to put on in the background to kind of pass the time. Except... Every time and every second Patrick Warburton was on screen, that man is a treasure, but more on that in a little bit. Before watching this show, I never watched the 2004 Jim Carrey movie, so walking into this, I didn't really have anything to compare it to. After I was done with the show, I saw that the Jim Carrey A Series of Unfortunate Events movie is also on Netflix, so I watched it. And after watching the movie, I gotta say, I don't really get why they made the show. Don't get me wrong, I thought the show was fine. It wasn't bad by any means, but it wasn't a reimagining of the story. It's very similar to the movie, just not as good, in my opinion, anyway. I'm not gonna get into a side-by-side -side comparison, but I'll put a link in the description to a video by Nitpicks that does just that. And it's not that I thought that the movie was the best movie ever. I mean, I thought it was pretty good, but I'm probably not gonna watch it again. But I did think that the movie looks better, Jim Carrey's Count Olaf was better, all the performances were better. The story's a bit different, but not that different, so I don't really get why make the show if you're not gonna tell the story differently. The one thing I did think was better in the show and was by far the best part of the show was Patrick Warburton as Lemony Snicket. The best writing, the best humor, and by far the best performance in the show Patrick Warburton's scenes were not just good, they were great. They were excellent. It's largely what kept me watching. Warburton's ability to deliver lines in a way that's funny, but also carries deep melancholy is just incredible. He plays Lemony Snicket, who narrates the story. In the movie, the same role is played by Jude Law, who also does a great job. But when I was watching the show, whenever Patrick Warburton started talking, that's when I just dropped my phone or anything else I was doing, which was most of the time because I was kind of bored with the show. I don't know if I can say that the show is worth watching just for Patrick Warburton, like I'm pretty close to saying that though, but it certainly is the best part of the show for me. Bottom line, should you watch it? I thought this show was okay, I did have some fun with it, it was just one of those shows where I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, it was just kind of... Fine. As I was watching it, I felt like 
I should be loving this, but I just didn't. I'm not gonna be recommending this to anybody, but do bear in mind that a lot of people seem to really love it. It has like a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. In the description, I'll also put a link to Jason's review from Seasoned Reviews. He liked it more than I did, so, you know, get a second opinion. What about you? Did you watch season one of a series of unfortunate events on Netflix? What do you think about it? Did you like it? Why did you like it? Didn't you like it? Let me know all your, th all your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's get the discussion going. Just please use spoiler tags in your comments if you're going to be talking about spoilers. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out a lot. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. You can also click around and see some of the other reviews we have up on the channel. But in any case, keep binging. And I will see you next time for a review of Frontier. Frontier.